Hey guys, and welcome to Emily Entertainment. My name is Emily, and today we are going to be doing some of the slimes that I've made recently. One of them, in fact, this one, we made in the last slime challenge. Do I still remember how to make slime? So, yeah. Let's get right on into this video. Sorry for the dogs barking. Okay guys, so this is the first slime. It's the one we made in the last slime challenge. So, here it is. It's actually very metallic and pretty. It's not clear though. And it's kind of getting my hands all wet, but it's fine. And yeah, so here it is. It's, it's like an ocean blue, and I kind of called it my mermaid slime. Because it, it has a metallic kind of color and then it has these unicorn flakes in them so it's a really nice slime and now let's see I'm actually going to be rating some of these and the last slime that I'm going to be doing today is not actually a homemade slime so it's pretty cool it's store bought but anyways let's see how this slime So it's a pretty good slime. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's a pretty good slime. It's personally one of my favorites that I've made recently because, as I said in the last video, I haven't made slime in a while because I haven't had all my slime supplies with me. Here's the, I actually made four slime one day, but it's pretty easy because it didn't take me long. But yeah. So I think I'm going to rate this slime probably an 8 out of 10. So it, the rating will be right here. An 8 out of 10. 10 actually probably like right here. <laughs> the rating will be. So 8 out of 10 for this slime. It's pretty nice. And... I don't know if you guys will be able to comment on these videos, but for this slime, I want you guys to name it because I have used aquamarine um, pigment, and I think it's very, very pretty, so I want you guys to name it, but that's our next slime, so let's move on to the next one after this. Okay. Okay, guys, so we have our next slime. This is the one that I want you guys to name. I think... If I had to choose the name of it, I'd probably um, do Black Sea, because it's like really dark and stuff, and it kind of looks like the sea. And then I added some foam beads, so let's just like... Let's let it come out. Oh. So what would you guys name this? I think Black Sea is a pretty nice kind of a name for it but if you guys come up with a better one I'll change the name of it and this one it's really nice it has some nice like clips and every time you poke it it has a very strong poke and the last one I didn't do a bubble but I don't think I might I'm not in the biggest area to make a slime bubble so I don't really want it to get on everything so I don't know if I'll make a slime bubble but I'll try. Ready? Oh, and it smells like berry lemonade because that's the um, scent I added to it. Yeah, I love this slime. I think I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. It's a very nice slime. And it's pigmented, which I really like. Basically, all of mine are pigmented, except for the butter slime. So, yeah. So, it, a 9 out of 10, and the rating will be over here. 
right here. Nine out of ten. So, actually, you know what? I'm giving it a nine point five out of ten right here. Let's move on to the next slime. Okay, guys. So this is the next slime. It is my butter slime, and as I said, it's not pigmented, but it is like a pinkish orange, but not quite coral, so pretty cool. I mean, it is kind of stiff, too, but I don't know if that's because it's a butter slime or what, but... Oh, it kind of... Oh, I know why it's so stiff. I didn't make it with Elmer's um, school glue. I made it with... Um, glue all to see if that was an okay way of making butter slime I mean it's not a bad slime it's just like it's kind of stiff look I'll try and like and you see they all break oh and I have nails now very uh slimy kind of nails actually it's not really slimy but anyways this one's probably gonna get a lower vote it kind of smells like glue and shaving cream mix I think I added shaving cream to this, right? Yeah, I added, I added, um, it wasn't shaving, no, I added shaving cream, and I added, um, the, if you go back in my videos, it's a blue type of, like, shaving foam kind of looking thing, but it's not shaving cream fully, it's like shaving foam or something, but it's blue, so if you look back at my videos, comment down below what that is called, because I just can't remember it right now. And it's not here, so I don't know what it's called. But anyways, I think this is going to get a 5 out of 10. Not because, like, the color's okay. I mean, it's not my favorite color. And even if it was my favorite color, it's kind of like a bland color. I tried to make it orange. But since it was mixed with white, it turned more pinkish, and I didn't want to add any more um, food coloring because I didn't want it to, like, dye my hands whenever I touched it. Because that would have been, if I added more, that would have been 18 food coloring pumps, and I did not want that. If I added six more, because I had 12. And my uh, transition here was six each time, so I did not want 18. Pretty nice slime. It's not sticky at all. And if you look, it makes kind of good pokes. Also, if you guys can hear Chestnut in the background, um, she's barking. She's outside and she's seeing people. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, overall this is a pretty nice slime. Five out of ten will be up here. The rating. Right there. Anyways. So, uh, let's move on to our next slime. It's not our last slime, but it's our last homemade slime. And you can see it right here, but... Next slime. Last homemade slime. It's very nice. It's kind of like a copper color. I'll take it out. Look at the bottom, guys. It's so metallic and shiny. And it looks really glossy. I was actually playing with some of this last night. This is probably, like, my favorite slime in the whole world. Like, honestly, it's amazing. And then it's so clear when you stretch it. Let's do some ASMR with this slime. hope you enjoyed the music with that even though it was supposed to be kind of quiet I just wanted to add music so it wasn't so like 
Okay, guys, so this was my last homemade slime. Sorry for Ella barking in the background. Um, a kind of like a party just came in and just went out. Not actually, but you know. Anyways, um, I have to cut for a little bit because um, I have to leave. But when I get back, I will get back to this video. And I think I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. It's honestly my favorite. So I'll see you when I get back. Bye. <laughs> okay, guys. So I'm back. Um, it's been about like three hours almost that I've been gone. But I'm ready to get back in the slime review. So the slime you guys just saw was the slime. Now let's move on to our fourth slime, which I said is not homemade, but it's this mushmallow putty. And I don't think it's putty, to be honest. Like, look at that. It's literally like cloud slime. That's what it is. So I'm gonna try and get it out. It's kind of messy sometimes. Oh. Okay. That was actually pretty easy. It's literally like, look. And then like, it's just like that and it's a really cool material it's yellow and shout out to my friends because they actually bought this for me and i literally almost play with this every single day so thank you so much um yeah look it's like spreading it's really nice i love this so much so it's not my homemade slime as I said again and sorry for the background noises I'll just try and talk over that so I think I'm going to rate this um, um I am going to rate this This is hard because it's like not a homemade slime so it's not what I I'm used to like playing with and stuff so I think I'm gonna give it a, an 8 out of 10 because it's like really stretchy but like it kind of breaks sometimes and it's such a nice like consistency consistency and it's just easy to play with and stuff. But the reason I didn't give it a 9 or a 10 is because it is kind of messy sometimes. But yeah, and it, it's not sticky either. But it does kind of get like sparkles and stuff on your hands. So that's why I did not give it a 9 or a 10. So yeah. Also, just gonna put this in as a special treat. I just got these Dr. Pepper jelly beans when I was with my friend the other day. Um, and they're so good. Actually, if you have them with like a liquid, so like water. Hold on, I can't get them open. Okay, so if you have them like with water that I have here, it doesn't even have to be a lot, just a tiny bit, even less than this. Um, you have one with water and it legit tastes like Dr. Pepper so good okay hold on I'm gonna put the lid back on okay so here's what the jelly bean looks like it kind of reminds me of like bean boozled like the the chocolate pudding or uh, dog food and believe me I've had dog food before and I actually threw up I'm not even lying so yeah let's try it Dr. Pepper. It's so good. So yeah. Anyways, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Sorry I kind of had to take a little pause for a little bit. But yeah. I really enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember to give it a big thumbs up. And subscribe. And turn on those post notifications so you never miss another one of these videos. I had a lot of fun today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, guys, goodbye.